So if you're running Google Apps Scripts for the first time, you're probably sitting there scratching your head wondering what's with all the warnings. Perhaps you're running code for the first time or you've found some neat code that's going to help automate a project and you want to paste it into your Google Apps Script and run it. Suddenly, when you hit run, it comes up with a warning. Well, let's take a look at an example. To get to our Google Apps Script, we're going to go to Tools and now down to Script Editor. Okay, let's just dismiss that for now. And for example, we might want to run our Runsies function here. So let's select the function, go down to Runsies, and hit the Run button. Suddenly, we get met with this authorization required warning. Our next step would be to review the permission. I'll move this up here so it's easier to read. And then we need to select who the person is that's going to run the code or what account we're going to use. For me, this is just my Yagi-san Atadei account. It'll be your own one. And then I get an ever-increasing warning. This one says this app isn't verified. So what's going on? So it's not a verified app that you might get on the Google add-ons marketplace. This is something you've created yourself. So it will come up with a warning and try and dissuade you from using anything nefarious that comes uh, your way. It's basically a, a protection that Google's providing for you to let you know that, that perhaps this script isn't legit or not. Now this will happen with every script that you use, even scripts you have created on your own. For example, this is a script that I have created and I'm still getting this warning. So this is just a protection that Google is using. So why does this come up? It's because with this particular script, it requires certain scopes to authorize. So it might ask me to access my Google Drive, it might ask me to access Google Slides or Google Sheets, and it's it needs permission to access this first. So this is why the warning is occurring. So let's go and click on advanced to the next step and then go down to the bottom here. It says go to certificate of attendance warp slippers unsafe. This is going to be just the name of the script that you're using. So we're going to click on that. And the next screen will come up with a list of things it's going to access. This is basically the areas you're going to allow permission or authorization to access. So here we've got uh, read, compose, send permit, delete all your emails from Gmail because I'm going to send an email at the end. And then it's going to see, edit, create, delete all your Google Drive files because I'm going to create multiple versions of a file. I have permission to view and manage your Google Slide presentations. Well, I'm going to use Google Slide as a template to create a certificate. So yes, I need that. And then it's going to ask, see, edit, create and delete your spreadsheet in Google Drive. I'm drawing from a Google spreadsheet uh, to automate a list of certificates. So yes, I need that as well. So then we need to read through the warning here and then click allow. Once you click allow, the script should. And as you can see at the top here, running function runs ease. So that function is being run successfully now. So the simple rule is this. If you have made the script yourself, uh, go ahead and run through that uh, gauntlet of ever increasing warnings. Or if there's a trusted script, go ahead and copy it and paste it into your script editor and uh, go through the warning process. Of course, it's always important to, to read the scripts if you're capable and uh, see if there's anything nefarious in there. But in most cases, it's pretty good. But just be very careful of any other script that's uh, from, not from a trust. So if you want to find out a little bit more about this warning process and what authentication is, I'll leave a link to a blog post in the information below and you can follow that. In the meantime, please like and subscribe if you want to follow some more videos.